Well, hello, my lovely nestlings, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you my lash hack. This is the way that I have been doing my false lashes for quite some time now. It is so, so easy. This is the video for you if you struggle to basically not get your lashes up here. If you have hooded eyes, small lid space, and if you just want your lashes to look nice, but still natural. Well, natural. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup, and being creative. Let me explain some things. The slightly orcish means I'm green. I'm a light to light medium warm-ish olive. The relatively vintage means I'm 46. I'm almost 47, so yay me. As you probably saw by the title, I'm going to show you how I apply my lashes, my false lashes, underneath my own lashes. Don't freak out. It's going to be okay. Let's kind of start with what you need. So what you need, of course, are falsies. And the falsies that I am going to use today are one of my favorite styles. They are from Unearthly in the style Dreamlike. And they are wispy. So I just pulled these because I really, really enjoy the wearing these. And especially if I have a makeup look on, basically like I have now with... No eye makeup on. These are the type of falsies that I love. But you can use any type of falsies with this. Any type that you want. Yes. Okay. The next thing you will need are scissors. And yeah, you saw the style that I showed you. That's the full lash. You have to cut them shorter than you regularly would. Because you have a smaller amount of space to glue them on. So you can fit them on top. And then if you're like, they're good on top, just cut off one or two millimeters to be safe. Okay, the next thing that you need are tweezers. I showed you uh, the, the ones that I have. The one that I actually use the most is the purple one and the silver one. But you can use any type of tweezers. You can also use your fingers. I can actually also apply with my fingers today because I don't have any fake nails on. And then... Last but certainly not least, you need glue. Now, my preferred glue is the one from Duo. Those are the two that I'm showing you right now. I have the clear one and I have the black one. And I'll use the clear one today because I don't have any eyeliner on. If I have eyeliner on or a very dark makeup look, I usually use the black one. Uh, you can use any glue that you want. My tip is, though, look for a glue that has a brush tip applicator because it just makes it a little bit easier if you cannot find it or if you just don't want to buy another lash glue to try this see if you have um what's it called an eyeliner brush preferably one with an angle let me show you one so basically something like this that has an angle and why because it's just easier to basically get there where you need to be. Okay, the other thing you will need, and it's actually pretty important, it's a good mirror. Now, it's not that my eyesight is bad, but I have here in front of me a mirror with a five time magnification because five or seven, I think it's five, because you just need to kind of see what you're doing. You don't want to get glue in your eyes, right? Now, on that note, if you do get glue in your eyes, I do have to say I wear contact lenses and I have gotten lash glue in my eyes before and I did not have an issue but that's me personally so just this is a method that if you just think about what you're do, doing stay present it's just as easy as tight lining but let's zoom in and we can get started before we start I'm going to show you how to cut falsies as you can see they are pretty long right what you want to do is you want to kind of line them up so let's let me show that first Let's see if I can do that with my right hand. That would be nice. So when I put a falsie on to see where I want it, I usually kind of eyeball it like this. So I don't want it in too far because you will feel it when you are blinking. So this is kind of basically the place where my own lashes start in the inner part. That's kind of where I want to line up the falsie. So I just look, kind of line them up. And then I cut from the outer part in because that's just how I prefer it. If you want them longer, you can always put, cut them from the inner part in. But I just prefer a wispy style that kind of flows a little bit more with your eye shape. But it's just play around with it. Just what you want to do. And I would cut them from the band up. So I cut the band and then I kind of pull them apart. If I now put them on top of my eye and kind of line them up with the outer corner, you can kind of see that they're very, very short, right? They're like half lashes. That is what you need underneath because if I pull it down and I kind of line it up with my own lashes here, 
that is way better. Yes? Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is glue the lashes. I always double glue. I feel like I can get the best application with that. It feels the most secure. I just prefer that way. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can just glue the falsy band and then put them on. Or you can just glue where you want the falsy and then basically stick them on. Just play again, play around with it. I'm going to grab my glue. So if you have your falsy like this, if you would put them on regularly, you would glue here on top of the band and usually a little bit underneath. That's how I did it. I'm kind of going to do the same thing. However, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the upper portion of the falsy and I'm also going to glue on top and that looks like that. Then I'm going to glue where you tight line. So if you tight line, you want that in the waterline, right? That's where I'm going to place my glue. So I'm going to grab my mirror. I'm going to make sure that it is kind of like this so I can almost see up my own nose. It's very sexy. But... And I'm just going to very gently put glue at the base of my lashes underneath where you basically place your mascara wand. Make sure that you don't have too much glue on your wand. Can you see where I put the glue? Can you see the blue part? That's where you want to put the glue. And now it's time to let it sit for just a little while. Usually I also do the other eye, but because I'm talking, it takes a little bit longer. You just want to have the glue tacky. And how can you see that with this one? It changes color. So when it darkens up, it's getting stickier. When it is see-through or clear, then it has set already. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to line up my falsy. Instead of going from the top down, you're going to go from the bottom up. So you're going to look in your mirror and you're just going to line up your falsy. Hold it against your own lashes and then kind of let it go. And if your glue is dry enough, it will just stay there. And then I am going to position it a little bit better. So I usually start with the outer corner. I kind of grab the falsy and I just push it in. And then I'm closing the tweezers and I'm just pushing up against the lashes a little bit. Now you can kind of see what the inner corner is doing, right? So we're going to grab the inner corner and I'm just, it looks gross, I know. I'm just pushing it against my own lashes. I want to get it there where I put the glue. And then I pinch the lashes together. Like that. What I then usually do, let me, oh, let me remove the mirror. And I, I just usually pinch with my own, um, with my thumb underneath. I pinch and I kind of squint, like what you would do with mascara. So I'm just basically blinking and pushing my falsy with my thumb underneath to have them be like this. Now, if I feel that they're not secure, I just grab this one <clears throat> and I just pinch it together. Like that. Now the best part is that you cannot see them when I close my eyes. You cannot see that I have falsies on. Right? So let me do that with the other eye as well. So you can see that hopefully hopefully a little bit better. Because I am a lefty. So let me uh, switch the, the mirror. I'm going to glue my falsie again. And here on the outer corner, instead of going like that, I kind of press it in between a little bit. Because I'm a lefty, I'm going to go over. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to kind of position my hand on my nose. And then just press it. And then we have that. 
and then again I'm going to position it so I'm just going to push the falsy into place And then again with my thumb underneath. Now for me this is easy to do because I have contact lenses in. So even if I hit my eyeball I don't feel it, right? And then just make sure that the inner corner is pressed down firmly. Et voilà! Now, if you want to make sure that it flows a little bit nicer in the inner corner, just grab a pencil and just tightline that part a little bit. Kind of like that. Now, you can do eyeliner if you want to, but with this method, because you don't have to hide the lash band, you don't have to put on uh, liner if you don't want to. And it's very quick and easy. The best part of this is if you have a full makeup look on and you have an eye, eye makeup look on and you want to take your falsies off because they're irritating, usually if you then pull your falsies off you mess up your eye look, right? With this method you don't because there's nothing to mess up. That's the best way. They don't do that in the wind. I live at the Dutch coast. It's always windy here. I, I just feel that this is just such a nice method. Now, also, if you have a limited lip, lid space, you see that I have, I don't really have hooded eyes. I have deep set eyes. And because my eyes are older, kind of, they, they hang in certain places. But I have quite a lot of lid space. But if you do not, then this can be the method for you. The only thing you have to kind of look for is that if your eyes are small and you don't see that much of your eyeball, so basically you look like this, it can be that you look against the falsies. But you will have to kind of experiment with that a little bit. And I think that is it for this video. There's nothing really that I can add besides the fact that I am so, so happy that I found this way of applying falsies because it is just, it's a game changer. And even if they are a little bit crooked, it is not as noticeable as if you have them on top. Just make sure that they're not too long. If I have them out a little bit too far, I can feel it when I'm blinking. It irritates my eyes at the outer part. And if I have them too far in, I can feel that as well. So just play around with the placement that works best for you. I kind of try to line it up with my own lashes as best as possible. And because my own lashes are kind of in a wispy style already, it's kind of easier for me to line that up, if that makes any sense. But that was it for today. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you're going to try this method. Let me know if you're skipping and you're like, nah, I'm good. I'll just stick to the way that I have applied them for years. Let me know down below. Share it with your friends. If you're still here, leave me. Do we have an eyelash emoji? I don't think so. Let, let do, do the werewolf because of my werewolf brows. I don't know. I hope you will also consider subscribing. Check out the rest of my channel for all the other content that I have. And then thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I am going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.